Catherine, I know that much of this visit has been under wraps. Uh, what can you tell us about what's happening? Hi, Monty. Right now, the European leaders are in the Kiev suburb of Irpin, uh, northeast, uh, northwest, excuse me, of the capital, and they're visiting buildings, residential buildings that were bombed out in Russian attacks at the beginning of March, and they're being taken round some of these damaged sites, which are still standing in ruins and just looking at some of the scale of the damage that needs to be rebuilt. Um, they're, they're touring uh, the sites with a great deal of security. As you can imagine, this visit was kept highly secret until the leaders arrived by train this morning into Kiev. Later on, they will be meeting with President Zelensky for talks. The Ukrainians said they're hoping for a sign from the European leaders not only about arms delivery, which is something they've been hammering home daily, the message that they need more heavy artillery and rocket launching systems to win the fight in the East, but also the question of European membership, uh, Ukraine's bid to join the EU. Now, there has been division among some EU leaders in the past about uh, how fast that could go. Macron, Emmanuel Macron himself has said it could take decades uh, but we've heard from Ukrainian officials are hoping for some kind of speeded up process because of the exceptional circumstances in which Ukraine finds itself. Well, Catherine, I know this is something that you've been covering. You know, these attacks are going on, but in parts of the country, uh, reconstruction is already underway. Uh, how big of a task is that? This is something we've been looking into in our time around the capital. Uh, the Ukrainian government estimates that so far in this war, with fighting still ongoing, the cost of damage to infrastructure is more than $100 billion. And they tell us that total is going up daily. So right now it is a huge task to try and, and get buildings ready uh, to, to house people, to knock down those which are unstable, which pose, which pose structural risk to demine land, to get electricity, running water back in neighborhoods, and to get roofs on buildings before the very harsh winter comes around in Kyiv. Now, uh, the Ukrainian government says that they're doing a lot of work already while the war is still raging in the east, but they're going to need help from international partners. They're going to need help from Europe, from the U.S., and they hope that they can get Russia to pay reparations. And that could be a very long uh, and complicated legal process but the cost is huge, and that's something the European leaders have been addressing this morning. Yeah, that's a, a huge effort ahead. Okay, Catherine Norse-Trent for us in the Kyiv region. Catherine, thanks so much.